Okay guys, welcome in our next video. I'm here with Carla from Sunder Sunderland University located in London. We've been talking about many different topics related to studies. But as you said in one of previous videos, I'm going to study only two days uh, a week. And besides that, I should probably be working somewhere else as a part-time to have a part-time job in order to finance my studies in in UK. But if, in case I would like to travel and explore uh, UK a bit, what options do I have? What are the travel costs and etc. Okay. So first of all. Let me just tell you guys that if you come to London, you are going to be living in one of the best cities in the world. So, like, there is so much going on in the city. It's incredible. Uh, there are so much different people living in the city. Everything happens here and there is always things happening. There is a bunch of stuff that you can do for free. You have museums and you have street music and there is always events happening for free absolutely nothing it's unbelievable you can fill your week with a bunch of stuff that you need to do for free mm -hmm. and then apart from that like the uk is absolutely amazing as well and i'm not saying for you to go to scotland because it's quite far away five hours bus by the by train it's quite far away mm -hmm. although it's beautiful um but there's always like little tours that you can do for example in victoria there is quite nearby you can it's one station where you can take buses and you can do like tours around the near areas for example as we were speaking before um you can actually get a bus and go to places like the Stonehenge or Bath that is like where the old Roman uh, baths were uh, or you can go like to Brighton that is like the most um, let's kind of say beach kind of area around this area where you have like nice um, sea and you can have nice fish and ships and you have like a beach and it's very very nice uh, you can go to Cornwall, um, there is trains departing from Paddington and it's quite also cheap, it will cost around like 30 quid one way um, and Cornwall is absolutely gorgeous. You can go to places like Wales, Wales is just two hours and a half from here and it's considered another country. And you can also go to places like Sunderland. Sunderland is the northeast, and it's like four hours from here. You can go to Newcastle. There is so many areas that you can go. Trains here are unbelievable. Like fares are quite cheap. It depends about how advanced you buy the tickets as well. So if you buy the tickets in advance, very advanced, you can buy things for like, I don't know, 30, 20, 40, 50. Depends about how, how like far it is. Yeah. but if you buy like the day before or on the same day of course that it will be more expensive so as long as you plan uh, there is a lot that you can do for very little money yeah and if I have more money um, which I can afford that is even amazing more. yeah, more yeah amazing. because I've been working a lot then a Stansted and Luton airport is located quite close to London right? yeah so this. basically most of the flights from London are way way cheap it's very easy for you to actually just hop on a plane and go to any country in the world. I can guarantee, for example, like, I don't know, like three years ago, I spent nine days, and this is a real story. I booked in advance a bit, but I spent nine days in Bali, and I booked like flight and accommodation for 500 quid. 500 quid is what? 550 euros? Might be. About, might be, might, more yeah. or less and it was nine days and it was an amazing experience i know that it's a little bit more expensive than initially we were saying yeah. but it's it's amazing opportunities nine days in bali yeah but then again there is Ryanair flying all around the europe exactly you can go also to yeah. all places in europe you can go to ireland yeah. you can go to scotland and you have really, really you have Ryanair, you have uh, easyjet um you have a we you have winair yeah you have you have a lot of cheap like airlines that fly everywhere this is a place where everything is happening and london has a lot of international really big um uh airports where flights depart every single day so don't worry with your leisure times there's going to be plenty i'm actually worried about the time that you will have to study <laughs> we can't forget that 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I think we have covered this topic just very slightly um, in comparing to your options of traveling within UK or even EU, which is really affordable and accessible. So it's up to your imagination. You have space and opportunities to travel as much as you want. So thank you for covering this question. See you.